In today's video, we're gonna be discussing are expensive cleats worth it or is it okay with getting any cleats that are the second versions or the third version of that same expensive cleats. Hello there, my name is Joe Dobbini and from my experience from playing high school soccer all the way to playing division one soccer in the United States, I've gone through plenty of cleats and in that whole time span I've probably had over 18 pair of cleats and that's not to brag because a lot of them range from $30 all the way to $80 and I'd buy them. Over time, I'd have to replace them. I'd have to replace them, I'd have to replace them. So now, you're asking, is it worth paying top dollar for the expensive cleats? Well, ever since I, I've been at my my Division One college, all the cleats that they have given me were the top dollar one. They were all $250, $215. You know what's the crazy part? I still have all of them and they're all in good shape. Also, the biggest thing you wanna know is probably, does having expensive cleats make you a better player? Well, that could be subjective, because pretty much whenever you have expensive cleats, they're, they're gonna be much more comfortable than their cheaper version, because they use more more expensive materials they're made so that you can have the most comfort and comfortability and that's why they price it more the same way if you buy a certain car you can buy a base model that's cheaper that doesn't have all the nice things and you want the nice thing especially if you want to play at the top level you don't want to be 80 minutes in into a game and your feet is irritating because the clips you have doesn't have the best material so you want to have the best possible tools that will help you be successful in a 90 minute game or longer so maybe you are still thinking having an, an expensive pair of boots is too you know, expensive. Well, I'll ask you this. Whenever you pay a lot of dollars for Jordans, if you pay top dollars for game systems, a lot of those things won't necessarily help you in your game. But having cleats that are expensive and are the best built for your game, top notch. I'm not saying you have to get the one that comes out in 2022 or 2023 the same year, but just stay consistent on buying the top uh, the top shoe of previous years. Just don't go back to like the 1960 because those trash. But if you're gonna buy a cleat, let's say in 2022 and you don't have the money to buy a brand new 2022 model, you could buy the 2021 or the 2020 model that was the top tier of that year. There's not much big difference that moves throughout the year, but those will still do you much more justice than buying a third tier cleat from 2022. That's why I believe if you have a more expensive cleats, it will do you much more good than buying something that is cheap. Especially if you're one of the players that are trying to play professionally, how much do you want to invest in yourself? How much do you want to invest in your game to be in the best possible shape? Careers that have the best possible tools, you know, they prep them for the best possible outcome. So if you can even give yourself the best possible tools, you know, you're minimizing how much benefits that you can achieve. So expensive cleats are worth it if you put them into good use. If you buy expensive cleats and you don't even train, now you're wasting money. If you have cheap cleats and you train a lot, you're wasting money as well because you're gonna have to replace them very soon. So just get the top notch expensive cleats, the best of whichever year and take advantage of it because when it comes time for you to show up after halftime or after the 120 minutes, your cleats need to be in good shape and they need to last long. And if you have cleats that stay with you for a long time, you develop a certain comfortability instead of getting a new cleat and trying to get used to it, this cleats will last you almost a year or two and you can keep going forward. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. The TV is out. Oh babe, you might just make me go crazy. Thinking about you like all day. I'ma need you like always. How to get messed up like this.